video. It is all about you. <laughs> I know. Admit it. That's kind of one of your favorite phrases. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm busting your guys' balls. But this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the week of November 5th through the 12th of 2019. Leo, this is for sun, moon, rising, or wherever Leo affects your natal chart. So if you can apply it, if you know where Leo sits in your natal chart and you know where to apply it, this is the energy for um, the, this coming week. So, um, Leo, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, there will be one in here in the next couple of seconds. Let me say thank you ahead of time because that's actually a way that, of your donating to the channel, and I'm really grateful for it. I will see you in about 30 seconds. Thank you for either sitting through A, that awkward pause, but at least you didn't have to sit through a commercial, or sitting through a commercial, once again, thank you so much um, because that does actually help the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do click subscribe below, help the channel grow, and also ring that bell so you know when I go live and upload all my content. All right, Leo, let's get into your general energies for November 5th through the 12th of 2019. Remember, I'm gonna pull a full oracle spread here on YouTube, and then there is an ex a link for an extended video below where there's I will pull a full tarot card reading as well as a romance reading. So if you're curious about that information, head on over. Leo, November 5th through the 12th of 2019. November 5th through the 12th of 2019, general energies. For Leo, November 5th through the 12th of 2019. General energies for Leo, November 5th through the 12th of 2019. 5th through the 12th of 2019. 5th through the 12th of 2019. Crowning your energy, be peace. You're going to get some nice balance coming into you this week. You're also going to get some messages of love and appreciation. You're going, it might maybe a Libra coming toward you. I know that I got this question this morning um, in my daily. Somebody asked if Leo and Libra was a good combination. And I said, actually, it could be as long as the Libra doesn't give too much. And as long as the Leo doesn't take too much, um, this is an air sign that could fuel your fire. And this could be a Libra coming into your life. Now, it doesn't have to be for love and romance but all I can say is they do they did used to release doves at weddings for a reason doves are a bird also of love and Venus rules Libra so this could be a sign of love coming into your life Leo for this coming week and we'll see it could be love of self it just could be balance in your life it could be happiness but you yourself are being asked this week to embody these things to embody love and to embody peace and to embody balance so this may be a message of restrain yourself hold back a little bit hold up get more information wait to see what's going to happen that could be as well we're going to get deeper into the reading of course but just this card alone means there is a sense of just um benevolent energy coming your way that is going to be there to help you and help you feel good this is going to be a feel good week all right leo next card out was trust in the magic and this is like a new beginning in other words something new is just starting and blossoming for you it has taken root and it has taken life and it does have something to do with look the six card this is six six so the six card in the tarot is what is it it's the lovers that's what it is. So I'm feeling more and more that this is an offer of new love. Maybe you won't even need your romance reading. Mm. But all these cards came out backwards. They've been sitting here in reverse. I don't think they're reversed, to be totally honest with you. Take the lead. You're going to have to be the one that makes the first move. That's what I'm saying. And it came out in reverse. Let me say, oh wait, stop. I'm just gonna do it the way spirit does it. So take the lead. This means take root. You don't have to move anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. When this card comes out, it means you're time. You're ready to settle. You're ready to settle down. You're ready to take root. So this could feel like the person, your person that you've been waiting for for a long time. It could also mean that whatever project you were working on is just starting to take root and you're starting to see it grow and you're starting to see some profit or, um, you're starting to see some something sprout, something grow. You're starting to see some life where you hadn't before. So this is something that you've made a full commitment to and you're starting to see some like energy around it. 
be here now this is almost like um the feeling this is also a libra card mm. um maybe somebody coming back from the past coming back into your life or something that you have been working on for a really long time this is the energy of not really being living in the now but almost living in the future because that's what fire signs love to do and i feel like there's definitely something fueling your fire this week leo mm. um light in your fire fuel in your fire this is about pushing pushing into the future knowing that you have a future really being confident that the future is bright and the future is something beautiful i'm like rushing through these cards because i like want to hear this story unravel open to the infinite possibilities when the star comes in reverse it's almost like you're closed down it's almost like you're you're um it's not like your star isn't still shining but it's like um you've decided in other words you you found where you want to be it's like you know how they followed the north like the three wise men followed the north star it's like you found where you were supposed to be you, you've been led to where you were supposed to be that's where it's what it's telling me and set healthy boundaries okay the more and more i see this is you have found a place to build some walls you found a place to build you found a place to build. You found where you want to be. You found maybe the person that you want to be with. And you've definitely found somebody that you don't have to be so guarded and protected around. In other words, this is a time for the heaviness to come off. This is a week where um, you can let go of feeling uh, like you have to defend yourself or you have to protect yourself. I know that's actually been happening to you a lot lately. Um, and I think you know, you're getting this reinvig, like it's almost like you're getting this, this newfound energy of, or newfound confidence where you don't have to feel in fear of being taken advantage of anymore. All right. What is this energy? Let it shine. Oh my God. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but the spotlight is definitely on you and people will be listening to what you have to say and what you have to say will be well received by people. It, no, all eyes are on you. It's almost like they're shining the spotlight on you. You don't even have to shine your star. This week, the spotlight, the, the spotlight gets shown on you. This is an energy of somebody not being able to take their eyes off of you, of you being center stage for a specific person, of somebody deciding on you, Leo. Um, this is... I, I mean, I'm surprised that I haven't gotten the good luck cards, but this is more than luck. This is a feeling of security serenity peace and happiness i'm trying to get more cards for a little bit more of details but that we might have to like wait over on vimeo and see those details with tarot we'll see leo we'll see leo november 5th through the 12th of 2019 this is more to me a sense of peace in yourself a sense that you don't have to keep looking, that you found what you want. A certainty. A certainty. Um, I just got a very beautiful card. It's in my lap. Hold on. No, all those cards are not coming out. <laughs> Definitely not taking all these cards. Okay. Bring your ideas into like, okay. You've just gotten some really good news. That's what it, that's what I'm saying. You have just gotten, you've made a breakthrough this week. Breakthrough wherever you wanted to make a breakthrough. Where, where is your heart space right now? Is it in a relationship? Is it with a person? Is it with a project? Is, is it with something that you've been working on? Is it with something that you had an opportunity? Mm, where is your heart space right now? Where is your heart space right now, Leo? Right now, where is your heart space? Because wherever that is, it's going to get satisfied. It's going to get reinvigorated. It's going to get the opportunity that it's been waiting for. It's going to get some really, really, really good news. That's all I'm saying. And I think in some ways, this news has been hiding. It is destined for you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. This has to do with like law and order and um, uh, government jurisdiction. You could actually be deciding to run for public office or um, be, you know, have something have just approved for you legally, and it's been being coming officialized this week. Um, 
it's something that sits near and dear to your heart. So I'm feeling it could have to do with something with a marriage or maybe a divorce finally finalizing. Um, but you're definitely getting good word when it comes, it's coming from some sort of official, some sort of government, some sort of somebody who could do big things from you, some sort of higher up or higher power. Also, uh, of course, this esoteric feeling of the esoteric meeting behind this of being at peace and finding your connection to spirit and trusting your connection to spirit. But this is also the government card. This is so <laughs> the government, like this is the leadership card. And I feel like, in other words, Leo, a, somebody that is a leader or very significant in the role that they play has noticed you and you're getting official messages from them to come through this week that is going to make your heart soar and be happy and feel free so that you can actually move on with your life or or you feeling like your life is just starting to take off, but not take off as in flight, Leo. Take off as in grow. Like I said, with that stag card in reverse, it's rooting. You've been rooting and your roots have grown very deep and now something is coming out of it and you actually seeing that momentum this week. So it actually has an effect on you that's sort of reverse of what you might expect. You don't get cocky, you get humble. You feel so humble and happy that this breakthrough has finally happened. It's almost like you just are reveling in the freedom and the liberty this week that this opportunity or this message coming in has afforded you. Wow. So this is a really big breakthrough. This is something that, um, this is something that I feel meant a lot to you in terms of your life's progress and your life's like road, the path that you were on, it was seemed like there was a big obstacle in your way. And that big obstacle has now been removed. And I feel like this has been a long time coming. Like maybe this opportunity was hidden, but if so, it was hidden by spirit. It, it was all, in other words, all these cards came out for you and I didn't want to read them all, but they came out for you and I'm just going to show them all to you. Um, once again, this is reiterating love, bring a gentle touch, but I think this is what's going on is that you have a gentle touch and that you stayed with it, that you had a, you had, um, you were patient and you were kind and you stuck with something, even though it was rough. And I think for a while you thought that nobody was realizing you, recognizing you or notice you, noticing you, but here's eight and eight is the infinity sign. And eight is that sign that, that number of infinity and divine power, and it's coming in right through you. So either you're the one sharing messages and you're the one that's going to deliver the good news to somebody, or that good news is coming into you. Either way, good news is working all around you and through you this week, Leo. Spirit has a plan and it always has, and you have abundance all around you. This has taken a long time coming, but if you are very, very comfortable, floating your in your emotions this week, Leo. You are very comfortable with, um, I think, I think slow and st like with everything that you've been through, a turtle energy just reminds us that, you know, um, the, remember the story of the tortoise and the hare? And I know that tur this is a sea turtle. That was a tortoise, but it's the same energy of slow moving, faith filled energy. It takes time, but it lasts when it's built. And I, and I like to remind people that in the, the story of the tortoise and the hare, the hare was a fo focused 100% on the tortoise. That all the hare ever thought about was the tortoise. So the hare's energy, as much as it came off as cocky, its energy was always on the tortoise. The tortoise wasn't thinking of the hare. The tortoise was thinking of the race. The, the, the tortoise was thinking of one step at a time and believing in himself. That's why he won and the hair lost. And I think that that's what you've been doing. You've been believing in yourself. You've stuck to things. You've stuck by things. You've stuck with your integrity. You've stuck, stuck with your faith and not only yourself, but in what you do. And it took some time and it seemed like forever, but this is the week that you crossed the finish line. You've won the race. I want to turn the camera around so you, I can review the cards. Hold on. Do you see how many cards popped out? And I didn't want to take them off, but it's all you. And I think that this is all in me. This is like a cast of characters almost cheering you on too. And that this, the truth is you, this has been a road of faith because remember Buffalo is, um, a divine spirit for Native Americans. They mean everything. It's abundance. It, it, what Buffalo is, the Native Americans are, and they, 
and they it's not that they worship it they appreciate it and they respect it and i think that this is what's happened slowly and steadily you have appreciated and respected everything about either somebody or something and that something or somebody has come into fruit full effect you may have just gotten approval like to break ground somewhere for a building that you want to build. You may have just gotten your marriage license coming through. You may something something that has to do with it being official. And you're getting that word, that official word this week. So no, it may not be the full tree coming and sprouting, but it's official. Like once you see that little sprout pop through the soil, you'll know that it's official. And there may be some official word coming in, like documentation that you've been waiting for for a long time. Either way, this is a huge breakthrough of something long-term and beautiful that you've had to keep watering and nurturing and cultivating even maybe some in some in some ways um much you know a lot of, either even when you were disappointed and you thought nothing was happening but so much is happening and i do feel like there is something coming up in terms of romance for you there is a strong sense of something new beginning and this beautiful libra energy floating in and i just can't get out of my mind that question that came in um, on Leo in Libra this this morning just this morning it came in and what perfect timing because this would definitely be the week that you make the breakthrough um, I think uh, like I was saying Sagittarius was um, Jupiter is was transiting Sagittarius but in April it went into retrograde and it's been retrograding Jupiter has been retrograding in Scorpio all these months and that could have negatively impacted you but when Jupiter is is back into Sagittarius now and it's 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 going to make its way through December 2nd I think um, it's going to be in Sagittarius and that's going to be very beneficial to you and I think whatever luck or opportunities have been clogged up by going back into Scorpio what a wonderful thing that now in Scorpio season it's all coming back to you and all coming to the surface and it's going to be very beautiful Leo so what is it and who to expect I'm going to do a deep dive using the extended over in the extended video I'm also going to um, just continue this reading and see what other information we can get I have a profound feeling like there is love coming in for you Leo but there's also this interesting this interesting uh, notion of something official happening too so join me for the extended we'll pull a full tarot card spread and the romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.